Welcome back to another devlog about my 2D mining game, which still doesn't have a name. Now, in full transparency, this week was supposed to be about this inventory system I've been building out over the last couple of days. But frankly, I ran out of time and energy to edit down about five or six hours worth of development screen capturing. And instead of just skipping this week, I figured we could dive in and just talk about from a high level the five big buckets of things I've been working on over the past week. And the first big bucket is going to be working on the weapons that you can have equipped. So right now, my plan is to just have magic weapons as in staves and wands. And I want each of those staves and wands to define what sort of spell you can cast. So you can think of it almost like this fire base will always shoot out a fire attack. And then the weapon itself will have modifiers. Like for example, this cold projectile spell maybe has plus two modifiers. So instead of just shooting out one, it gets to shoot out three shots. Maybe this fire wand you can increase the range of how far the wall of fire goes out in front of it i spent a lot of time in the last week just thinking about that system the actual code i implemented wasn't too much but it was more time figuring out do i want to have melee attacks what is the goal of having melee and could i instead just simplify my design down for now for my my proof of concept and maybe my early access scope to have something that could fill the melee slot like this wall of fire and still just focus on having really interesting modifiers to the spells and interesting bases for wands and staves which brings us perfectly into our next big bucket of work now is going to be on the base itself so this is the player base where they hang out i previously had a devlog talking about how i created this little cat here specifically speaking i added in a little bit of animation to make it a little bit more cute and alive it still can't walk around but you can attack it with your spells you don't deal damage you can't kill the cat but it will meow in annoyance and you can walk up and still pet the cat which is lovely the other two big pieces i did were just some quality of life that when you walk over the portal a little bit of an outline will show up denoting you can click on it and move into it and the other one would be a little bit of a really basic base inventory system to show you how many of those blue mining resources you collected from the cave system speaking of the cave system you can now have a nice fade in fade out effect i added in a little bit of a vignette to the cave system very similar to my previous game chest survivors i can turn that on and off with f1 so you can see just it's a very subtle thing that kind of gives it a little bit more of a dark feel which i, I like quite a bit uh in the cave system you can move around and jump around you can still mine nothing has really changed too much there i did change the background so so it's a different color than the mineable void stone here. That's what I think I'm going to call this stone, maybe void stone, since you're mining into a don't. Oh, hi, Carl. Why, hello there, little guy. It's nice to see you. Most of the changes to the cave system ended up being really code-based changes, but there are a few things I could note as well. The enemy pathfinding will look a little bit better. I'm using Godot's built-in pathfinding nodes, and it was just kind of learning how those are properly used. They'll also have a bit of a health bar if you hit them with a uh, attack that deals a little bit less damage. So you can see there's a little bit of a health bar above them. That is all going to be a reused component, which is part of my fourth big bucket of changes, and that is primarily figuring out how to use Godot better. And so I'm trying to spend this first month of being a full-time indie dev learning better ways to use Godot. And one of those really great ways is going to be composition. I watched this video by Firebelly Games. Absolutely incredible. Kind of opened up and changed the paradigm of how I can think and use Godot. And part of that is going to be composition. So component driven design. So I have some health components. I have damage calculation components. I have hit boxes and hurt boxes. And I can use a lot of those reusable components both on my bats. So like we like I said before, I have this health bar component, which specifically just has code to manage when we want to update that health bar. I then have a health component, which only handles health. I mean, it seems so simple saying it out loud, but typically my scripts would just be thousands of characters long and I would have to copy over a lot of these different functions that are similar, like managing max and min health or handling death events. So ultimately speaking, the last week was a lot of just refactoring a bunch of my code to be individual contained components so that I could add these small little discrete components together to create a magnificent thing like the player or the bat script. I highly recommend you check out Composition and specifically speaking, go watch this video 
it might be the best 10 minutes you've spent all year. And the last big bucket of work was going to be this inventory system down at the bottom where you can grab and move around your different equipped items. The important part for me implementing this right away is that I want combat to be like Noita, where when you go into combat, what you have equipped on you is going to be what you can use. So maybe you have this cold damage wand to freeze the enemies, and then you can run over to the enemy and cast your wall of fire, which deals a bunch of damage. Next week, I'm going to add in the ability for modifiers and stuff on your gear. Maybe you have a wand that has plus five projectiles and then I need to make sure that when you cast that projectile based spell it actually shoots out five extra projectiles so that's really exciting it's about time for me to go live over on twitch at twitch.tv slash Aramis it's been a blast seeing so many people showing up to the streams and having a good time I'd love to see you there I've been Aramis thank you so much for watching have a lovely day